Okay, we're going to go ahead and glue this ear on now. This ear was made off of a different ear, but if we do a fit, we'll kind of see how it fits on here. It looks like it fits pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and glue it on. And what we're going to use is Prozade because Prozade is an adhesive just for prosthetics. Now, one thing about latex ears is you don't put glue on the entire ear. You're only going to put glue on the edges that touch the ear. So I'm going to only put glue here and here. You can put it on the inside here, this part here, if you want, but I'm not going to at this time. I'm going to add a little Prozade right here and right here. And then what I'm going to do to see really where it hits your ear is I'm going to actually set the ear on and then I'm going to touch it to her ear so I know where the glue is going to be. And then I'll take my Q-tip and then I'll add glue to just that area. And then I'll add glue to this a little bit better. Then we're going to let these dry. You can use a blow dryer if you want or just wave your hand on it. When the glue turns clear, then you know that it's tacky. Prozaid is a contact adhesive, which means you put glue on both surfaces and then after you put glue on them, you wait for them to dry, they turn clear, then they're tacky, and then you can stick them on. If you stick them on while they're still wet, they just won't stick, and so you won't get a good adhesion. Okay, the adhesive is now clear and dry, and it's ready to a stick. Now, remember, once you stick this on, it doesn't come off very easy, so make sure you put it in the exact area that you want it. And the skin color is really close, so this is really a good uh, fit for color. All right, I put the glue on, I stuck it on, and um, you can actually leave it just like that. She turns her head a little bit closer in, you can see. The ear looks really good. And if you have a problem with like, um, you know, you're, you're afraid your seam is too bad, you can actually take some hair and just kind of set it naturally down like this and it will cover up the, um, the seam so that it looks kind of natural. You can do that too if you want. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go a step further and I'm actually going to add a little Prosade to this edge here to blend it more into her skin. And what I did was I made a Pax paint. This is actually Prosade mixed with a thickener. Um, we used to use Cabasil, but Cabasil is actually toxic, so you don't, you can't really buy it anymore. So what I did was I added a little bit of cornstarch to it. So it's nice and thick, and I'm only going to put it on the edge here to kind of blend it into her ear. And when you do this, it takes away that edge, and then it actually makes it look more like it's part of her, her skin. And you got to watch hair, because it will stick to hair pretty well. Just like that. What I like to do is use a makeup sponge that I cut down and then I just add it and stipple it to it. Okay, now the glue is dry so we're going to powder it. I'm going to use a little baby powder. You can use, tel which is t like a talcum powder, or you can use um, translucent powder also if you want. And the reason why you use uh, powder on it now is because it's sticky still. The outside is sticky where I added some to blend it in. So you just add a little talcum to that and it will unstick it. Now I want the ear to have a little bit of an extra color here. So I'm going to make a little bit of a reddish on the end of the ear here. So I'm going to use that uh, deep tomato red that I used to color the ear to kind of give it a little bit of a consistency. And I'm only going to use a tiny little bit. I mix them up in this container right here. I'm just going to add just a tiny little bit to it, just on the outside. Just out here, just a teeny bit, just to kind of 
add that little bit of color. I mean, it may not even be noticeable because I'm using very little. But once it gets dry, it'll darken up a little bit. And if you have a problem with your seam line, you can always add a little bit of hair to the front of the ear to just kind of cover up your little flaws a little bit and then it looks kind of natural and uh, it looks really nice. Remember, you can do, even do big ears, so enjoy yourself. I hope you guys make some really fun ears. Thanks for watching.